Um, as Kristen said, I write a sobriety blog, and um, I, I, I'm more articulate and, and uh, smart in, in the written word than I am the spoken one, so I'm going to fall back a little bit on some of my blog posts. I'm going to start with one, and then I'm going to finish with a couple, so you'll get a feel for, for what I do. A lot of my old drinking stories start with the words, I ended up as if I was blown in by a stormy sea or the tempests of God, not responsible for landing in a compromising position myself. I ended up in one of those looking for Mr. Goodbar situations on a golf cart in a deserted parking lot with Johnny Depp's psychopathic island caretaker. I ended up renting, renting two suites at the Four Seasons in Georgetown because we decided to take a boat for a trip weather changed and nobody else had any money. I ended up buying just about everybody in the city of Los Angeles a drink when I passed out at my own party at the suite at a W hotel and woke to find three gutted mini, mini bars and ten service trolleys. I'm sure it was a great party, it looked like it was, but I don't remember it at all. I ended up with a blithely unrepentant philanderer who looked and acted a lot like Captain Ron. I ended up stretching my own duct tape straight line along a side road for six policemen who thought I was driving erratically. Then they watched me walk that straight line in six inch stilettos. Um, I was driving erratically and it was the second time in two different cars I'd been stopped that night. I ended up with two black eyes, a hematoma the size of a golf ball, and no front teeth. When I did that age-honored thing we all do to fluff up our hair, you know, like that. <laughs> but I was drunk, <laughs> and I was in a confined space with a, with a stone countertop, and I knocked myself out. You guys haven't done that? <laughs> <laughs> I ended up drinking Bloody Marys at 6 a.m. on New Year's Day with the better part of the Bahamian Defense Force. That was actually really fun. They all looked like those furrowed brow guys in the Calvin Klein underwear ads. The bottom line I realize now is that I never just ended up. I was not a victim of circumstances. I was responsible. I caused these things to happen. And terrifying, or outrageous, or even hilarious, I courted the fodder for a really good drinking story. And I just want to tell you all that I'm very grateful to be here tonight. Um, I'm grateful to be alive, and sober, and with you all. And I'm most grateful that I don't have any recent I ended up stories to tell you. <laughs> I've always been a big drinker um, since the time I was 17, which is when I started. Um, in college, I was called Tequila Maryland because I could drink everybody under the table, lemon, salt, shot, shot, shot. Um, a little while later, I was married to a very English man, and he and his friends called me Bucket of Wine Maryland. You get the picture. I, I always drank a little bit too much but I had mitigating factors. I had an important job. I owned an art gallery. I had small children. Um, I had some social responsibilities and I had a very watchful husband. Um, I drank when the kids went to bed and um, I drank a lot at parties and holidays. And I started doing sneaky things like watering the wine. You know, I was the only one in the house that drank white wine and I'd, I'd leave just enough so that there was a smell and then fill the bottle up with water because I thought my husband would think I'd been drinking too much. 